before looking like this and this they were these <laughs> hi i'm walter and this is urban wild city Caterpillars are the larval stage of members of the Lepidopteran order of butterflies and moths. They are typically voracious leaf feeders and many of them are among the most serious of agricultural pests. But here in my neighborhood in Cagandero City, I found two kinds of caterpillars just going and munching their merry ways, causing no harm to the vegetation here. And there are plenty of foliage to go around. <laughs> In fact, in small numbers, they help maintain the balance of plant growth in an area. First of the two caterpillars is the common egg fly, or great egg fly, or blue moon caterpillar. The body is black, covered with long branched orange spines. Its head is also orange with two black thorny horns. Very creepy, right? <laughs> Did you know that I am more scared of caterpillars than snakes? They just give me the heebie-jeebies every time. <laughs> Anyway, its adult form looks like this. It is a very common butterfly found here in the Philippines. Male ones are mostly black with blue-violet color bordering on the six white spots or the egg-like patterns on the wings, hence the name. While most females also have the iridescent shade but with undefined white markings. Back to the caterpillar, this one is very busy jumping down on what looks like a variety of commodity tops. Feasting from leaf to leaf, it is one mean eating machine. But sometimes in life, you just gotta pause. Maybe this cat is stopping for a breather and giving its jaws some rest. <laughs> Give yourself a worthy break, leaf warrior. <laughs> the second caterpillar I saw is different from the first one. I found it sheltering at a young talisai plant, a home he'd like to eat. Instead of spikes, it has hairs of different variety. It has long hairs or pencil hairs all over the body, two ponytails near its head, another cluster of black and white hair on the side, some long ones on the rear, and lastly, the four compact tuft of hairs or tussock at its back from which it got its name, the tussock moth caterpillar. This is one hairy mother pillar. <laughs> The red spots on the body also resemble a clown's costume. <laughs> but the toothbrush caterpillar, I mean the tussock moth caterpillar, is no laughing matter. To some people, just a touch of its hair and he'd feel as if he's been pricked by fiberglass. Some species will even leave others with a persistent and painful rash. Best to avoid those hairs if you spot one. This is what it would look like in its adult stage. Hairy caterpillars are aptly called suffering in Visaya because you're gonna experience a little suffering if you get touched by them. <laughs> Is it the same with the tossak moth caterpillar? Like, tossak tossak? <laughs> they may be a sight to behold, but in the animal kingdom, most predators avoid prey with striking colors and appearance. You don't wanna be making contact on those weird colorful spikes and hairs, let alone be eating them. Just remember, look, but don't touch. <laughs> Yet another showcase of nature's creepy but beautiful creations. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you in my next story.